brand new Adopt Me hack will allow you to go and spy on people in the brand new update. I mean, look how cool this is. I have broken the map and I can spy on everyone inside. The brand new Adopt Me Sky Castle update has just came out. Today, I'm going to show you all the secrets in the brand new update and everything you need to know. The fastest way to go and get to the Sky Castle is by going and clicking on Gifts, press the plus button and teleport to the Gifts display. Believe it or not, the ship to the Sky Castle has not actually changed, which I'm quite surprised about. You can always fly up there without having to go and spend your bucks, and we're going to go and check out what this new looks like. As you can see, there is actually now a water fountain coming off of it, and there also seems to be two towers compared to before, where it was just one tower. There is water coming through, there's some cool little sex, what seems to be a little paddle boat which is powering through the water and creating energy and the rest of it seems very similar where you can go and use this little bungee jump and also a trampoline in case you just want to bounce up high and then over here is the bungee where you can click E to do a bungee jump and once you jump off it actually just yeets you back into the sky just like so. So this is a fun way to just jump off in case you randomly wanted to. One thing to also notice is that in this update, they completely removed the potion shop. So you know that shop where you used to be able to go and pick up your fly or your ride potions? Well, it's actually gone, which is sad because there were so many TikTok hacks that you could go and do that. You could actually go and do these hacks that would completely duplicate your avatar, or you could just have fun bouncing around on the crazy mushrooms. But unfortunately, the whole of that building is completely gone now, which is one of the secrets. I don't know why Adopt Me would completely remove the building, but I guess we'll find out why very soon once we go and check out this new thing. Personally, I think they should have kept the two, but I guess if they want to remove a building, then they're probably going to be introducing a new building replacing it, because now there is quite a lot of empty space in the inner ring, because there used to be all these buildings, there used to be a soccer field, and now it's just empty. So, to be honest, I'm not too sure what Adopt Me's idea was with that, but I hope that they do introduce some new buildings now, instead of just going and changing the old ones and removing them. Anyway, this is what the new place looks like. As you can see, there are doors. The doors take you nowhere. We can buy a grow potion right here. Is a small sip potion. This right here is where you're going to be able to pick up the Cobra pet. So as for now, it just says the Cobra is coming soon. The release date for this Cobra is yet to be confirmed because they haven't actually said it. The reason why this is not released was because they hadn't finished designing this in time. It was meant to be released today alongside this whole castle update. However, they didn't have enough time to go and finish it, resulting in a stone sculpture of it for now. Over here, we can buy a big brew potion. This one is a anti-gravity potion. Over here is where you pick up your fly potions. Actually, it just says view, and then it says you can buy it with Robux. Uh, if you do want to buy Robux, use my star code CANDY. Buy a big head potion for 10. Do not buy a big head potion. I'll show you a trick on how to get infinite big head potions very soon. There's actually a hole down there. I'm not too sure why there's a hole there, but I think we can get into it. So it seems there is this small gap, and you can kind of just about squeeze through it but not big enough to actually go and fall down. Mainly because they've actually put like an invisible barrier there to go and stop you from doing this. But let's go and explore the top and see what this is. A translucent tea, 600 adopt me cash for a 10 minute mini potion um, to make your pets slightly translucent. Definitely isn't something that I'd go and spend my bucks on. A hyperspeed potion, again, you can go and get these for free, will go and cost you quite a bit. So we're gonna go and give you a rest of the tour of what this looks like. You can't actually fly to the top, it's just a black screen, um, which is kind of interesting. We're now gonna go and attempt to escape this area by using a fly pet and also a stroller and pushing it against the wall, just like so. And then you go and click on the pet and press fly and you have now successfully escaped. That seems to be one of the thinnest points where you can go and escape the map. And this right here allows you to go and see what it looks like from the outside. Above is just a giant, really dark block which seems to serve absolutely no purpose. But from here, you can kind of just like snap. You can really spy on these people, actually. That's kind of crazy how well you can spy on these people. That's actually really cool. I didn't think this would have worked, but look how insane this is. You can literally spy on every single person right here. That's kind of cool. Um, definitely something that I would do if you want to play like a game of hide and seek. 
you can literally spy on every single person here. Alright, so let's go and explore what else we can see from here. It seems whatever side you are facing, you can actually somewhat see on the inside of it, which seems to be part of a glitch. That door seems to be moving and just glitching all over the place. Definitely something that Adopt Me probably didn't intend to go and do. It just seems very strange. And from this side, you can also go and see the inside. Overall, this is a pretty cool looking inside of the building. I wonder if this door will work, we're gonna fly through, yeah the door doesn't quite work. If you guys ever do get stuck here and want to leave, be sure to just go and simply reset your character and then go fly back up because this is gonna be easier than doing that. I will now attempt this process and try and get on the inside by going and using the same technique by getting a stroller and pushing towards onto the inside to see if we can get inside this secret little area where all of this water is coming out of. This one seems to be more of a difficult section as there's not as much to go and run with. Okay, we've managed to get in, press fly, not always effective. My pet yeeted to the floor, of course. All right, try number two, wasn't as expected. All right, try number two, we're gonna click on it from here. If I can even click on my pet, uh, please let me click on my pet and press fly. And I mean, we're somewhere, probably not a great place to be honest. <laughs> we'll try again. So it turns out they have actually blocked off most entrances into glitching into the Sky Castle apart from being on the inside, probably to stop you guys from deliberately doing those glitches which I just tried to go and showcase to you. We're now going to go and enter here and just takes you to the other room. So it seems that this area right here is completely pointless and just for decorative purposes, which is kind of sad. I was really hoping there would be some type of water system where we'd be able to go and get into it. But it looks at things you can't either go through here um, because, I mean, it just wouldn't do anything. It'd be cool if you could. Um, they're definitely missing out on a chance of allowing you to do that. And I don't know why. Hopefully they would do that in the future but it just doesn't look like they will. As for now, I can't seem to see any other secrets. You can't actually go and interact with these doors. You can't go and interact with anything. The only thing you can do is escape the map by going and using yourself your stroller and pushing through on the side right here and that will go and get you through again it does look pretty cool you can definitely do some fun things by going and doing this and it might take you a few attempts to go and push through into the wall but once you do definitely worth it because you get a nice view overall this update is pretty good we also go and get some new petware if you want to go to the petware shop you can go and pick up some new pride pins there is a new large collection of them so if you want to go and support any of these causes, then um, so if you want to go and support any of these, then you can go and pick up these brand new ones, and you can go and claim one of these every single 60 minutes. That's it for today's update. I hope you did learn something new, and you guys are enjoying today's update. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. I hope you have a great, fantastic day, everyone. Thank you for watching. Use star code CANDY, and buy my limited edition plushie. We only have like seven days left. And if you want to pre-order it, then go for it. We need to sell 200 for it to be made. If not, it'll be refunded. Thanks for watching. Bye!